Yo, peace, 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 and much love, family. It's your boy again, Kato motherfucking G. Kato G TV, Real to the Streets. And I'm back with a special one, man. I got a special guest for y'all. You know what I'm saying? She's been highly requested, highly anticipating. You know what I'm saying? She's a hard woman to get in contact with. You know what I'm saying? But I got her for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, been like, want to know, you know what I'm saying? What you're about. You know what I'm saying? Want to pick your brain. You know, so that knowledge you 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 hold on to, you got can't just hold can't just hold on to the information. You got to let it out. But uh, if she comes, and just break y'all off some man. So it's the oracle. So you know what I'm saying. Tell people, you know what I'm saying. What you're about. You um. Know? Well, uh, first of all, thank y'all for requesting me back, and uh, I appreciate it, and I'm uh, glad to be back. Uh, my name is Oracle. Like you said before, and um, just about empowering the black community, just educating us and enlightening us from a different perspective than what we've been exposed to. Um, not by choice, but uh, by force. You know, I'm just waking up the public. This is the time for the grand rise, and I'm, I'm doing my part. Well, so fine, so be it then. So, <coughs> today we want to talk about, you know, how you uh, get started in, into a spirituality or whatnot. How, you know what I'm saying? What type of journey led you down that path? So, you know? Okay. Well, like a lot of us, I was uh, born in a Southern Baptist home. And, uh, you know, I had been told Jesus was coming for me when he when I got baptized and things was going to change. And, you know, all different things. I, you know, I'm neither here nor there. But uh, it wasn't until my dad died that I began to see things from a different perspective, more in a, 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 along a deeper level. Uh, it had became a time that broaden my horizon to what I was uh, taught as a child and growing up in my household was what, the, you know, the Christian values. And so the things that I had was experienced at the time of my father's death had kind of opened my eyes to the fact that there's another unseen realm out here. Okay. Um, I basically was getting communication from, from the dead, hell. Straight up, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm not gonna even make them straight game. You ain't crazy, man, for real. You know, uh, this this type of thing happens <coughs> often. And um, anyway, that's that's kind of how I I began my spiritual journey. Uh, my people want to call it my third eye. I had began to open around that time, and then um, shortly after my father's death, I actually had met you and he uh the king yeah. I had not processed all parts of the death but he also it came to be about some some ancient civilization practices and me being myself I at first I was like man you don't be talking about Jesus yeah we almost fell out I don't want to hear this nonsense <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we almost fell out, but just to be quite frank, you know, we got past that, and um, I started studying some of the things that he had been talking about, and I found a lot of truth in the matter because, you know, to believe is to believe the lie that is within the mm. bullshit, but the truth will always resonate, and some of the things that he had spoken to me at that time had more than resonated with me on a level that made me go and research it myself. Mm. Um, plant seeds as well. Definitely plant seeds. So yes, he was a major part of uh, the shift in uh, my spirituality. You know, converting from Christianity to what we now know as a uh, Ifa. It's a uh, it's in direct lineage of Kemet. My bad, I'm not trying to cut you off, but now she's my teacher. I started her off, but now she's teaching me shit. But go ahead and teach me more. No, I'm not trying to be the teacher because I'm still learning. Every sure. day we live and we tempo. learn. Yeah, you never we, when you when you learn too much, that's when it's time to go. <laughs> I'm out of the rush. <laughs> okay, so um, 
yeah, that's kind of how things got started. Okay. Deep, deep. Hey, okay, so what's about the uh, so the spiritual, the the five signs of the uh, spiritual awakening? Okay, okay. Uh, all right. So th part of the reason why we're making this segment is because. You know, at the time of my awakening, there wasn't very much, uh, there wasn't very much information out there for the public to rely on. Uh, all we had were, you know, these these people, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it because y'all know me to keep it straight. We had what white people's interpretation of what our psyche should be, so they psychologically put these terms on us. Uh, so we 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 often thought that there was something going on with us when it all actually there's nothing. It's part of the process. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people want to call you schizophrenic, multiple personality, bipolar personality, you know, all of these motherfucking names and labels. Mm -hmm. They just a psychological, they're meaning a, a way of explaining the way that you behave without including divinity at all. That's like you ain't nothing but just skin and bones and when you gone, you gone. Mm. So this is a psychology derived from atheists y'all have to understand that people out there you listening and you, you you banking on the word of somebody who don't even believe in any parts of the afterlife so if you want to take that one perspective and go with it then you know hey go with it i, I don't knock nobody for what for their the own personal beliefs but me i'm gonna go into looking for what works and um <coughs> so I, I went through a spiritual transformation, and during this, one of the signs was um, I had to go inside because I had became spiritually um, sensitive to other energies that were around me. Okay. Because if someone was sad, I could feel every bit of their sadness. I would cry as though I was experiencing their pain with them. Um... I was soaking up vibes from anywhere that, that, you know, one of the first signs of awakening is that especially negativity, um, if you're a particularly positive person and you have good moral fabric, you'll find yourself somewhat allergic to negative vibes or low vibrational people or people with fucked up vibes. Vibration. You don't know what it is about them. It's just they vibe. Lower vibrational energies. They don't, they don't, you know, and if you a higher vibrational energy, that ain't, that's not going to work with you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're going through these times of spiritual awakening, it's best to be near maybe one or two people that you really trust because others will try to put you in this box called crazy. And uh, that box called Crazy is a whole nother subject for another day. But, um, you know, the, you're, you're going to be, you will be experiencing things or feeling things that you'll feel the need. Another symptom is the need to cleanse or, or purge uh, negative or lower vibrational foods. You know, you, you begin to want to clean your lifestyle up. You, you know, hey, I'm tired of eating this meat. This meat is fucking holding me down. Because when you start to understand the black man and the black woman, that our bodies were never supposed to, that we, we are ingesting meats now as a part of our diet because that's what America has, has we've, been taught, you know, yeah. they, we've been conditioned. Yeah, there you go. Program. Um, hell, there's other countries, there's even small countries that, islands and stuff, you know, where people are eating plantains for meats. They may eat meat maybe once to or twice a month. I have friends that are from small islands where they, they do eat, like, I believe it's like red meat is at a shortage, she said, like steaks. But fish and shrimp and things like that are in abundance. So, you know, they do eat a lot of fish, but more berries, a lot more uh, fruit and things from the land, plantains, coconuts, uh, grapes, you know, land surrounded by water, vegetation is lush. So, you know, these, 
<coughs> higher vibrational foods, higher vibrational people. Put it like that. Exactly. You are what you eat. Uh, Dr. Sebi speaks about this. You know, the, that actually causes the mucus in the body that holds the bacteria. Whole other subject for another day. But, you know, that was the second symptom. Is that you'll feel the need to want to clean the things that you put into your body. It would be a conscious effort for you to want to cleanse the your. You begin to understand that, you know, a lot of these things that are around and near me are toxic. Not just for my body, but for my motherfucking soul. Okay? Amen. Um, <laughs> like, um, so, and a, a, a different, another, a third symptom um, is you may be experiencing <coughs> very lucid <coughs> dreams. Mm. Lucid dreams and very dreams that could almost seem real. Almost like you're peeking over or seeing something that, and then it like experiencing what we call deja vu. That's what it is. You know, and you begin to feel like, damn, that was weird. You get that, damn, that was weird feeling a lot. That, that, I've been that before. What was that? I yeah. was just talking about some shit like that in my head. Mm -hmm. And the word coincidence begins to pop into your vocabulary. Yeah, this is a sure sign program. that you are coming out of the sleep walk. You are waking up from the matrix that that, that is that we've been programmed to live in and designed to to operate in. You are breaking that pattern. You understand what I'm saying? So. You, you, a whole lot of different things were going to change within your mindset. Uh, for me, I also had, it was, a, it was, it's called, a, it's a chemical change in the brain. Literally, what it is, a lot of people call it an altered personality disorder. For me, white people, psychologists, they call this an altered personality this was a sign of my rebirth. It was death to the ways in which I used to operate. Mm. It was death of to the slave me. Mm. She is no longer. The being that you see now is a goddess. Your Lord. Your, this, your, your is, Lord. this is my divine feminine. Okay. Operating in higher states. Yes. Higher, higher consciousness. Yes, and higher consciousness involves higher consciousness, higher frequency living, higher frequencies in your daily thought patterns, meditating, fostering this mindset to where you can connect with your ancestors. Because me, I believed what the what the I believe <coughs> keyword believe the lie. Within the bullshit. Lie in the middle of believe. B E L I E V E. The lie. Yeah. So I believed that there was a heaven and a hell. I didn't understand that my ancestors were gonna be together in an ancestral plane. You see this reference in the movie Black Panther. You understand where when one passes, they go back with the ancestors. And I don't know how many of y'all out there have had a loved one that's passing away. And in the last day or so of their passing, they begin to see the past loved ones that we all know have been deceased. But they're coming back and they are ushering you in. They're ushering that, that loved one over. This completely does not have anything to do with what Christianity says happens in the afterlife. You in there and it's hell eternally or you burning in, you know, in some bullshit lake of fire. The fucking fire is right here. This motherfucker is on fire. The demons is hopping from person to person all day long. But that's a whole other subject for another day. For another we, 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 we just starting y'all off on baby food today. Today we just explaining the symptoms of waking your ass up. So. Was that fourth symptom? Because there's several symptoms. We can go on. I can go on. Uh, if you need 
spiritual help or advice that's we'll, we'll leave y'all some information on how to get in contact with me on on uh future endeavors but um uh, the, uh, also the last one I want to talk about last symptom is the need to find a soul family mm. this is an urge that uh, that's the hardest part yes it's a yearning to find your kindred souls your tribe so with that being said I gotta break y'all off my five spiritual awakening symptoms like the God young Pharaoh said, the first sign is anger. You know what I'm saying? On my on my ass, on my part. Mad as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting shit out. Then the second stage is I'm still anger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm still mad on on a phase two. So I definitely understand. You know what I mean? So by the time you get to phase three, now you want to like start trying to research some shit, uh, you know, come to understanding, you know what I'm saying, insight, that was, that was phase three years about insight, so bam, number four is extreme sadness, cause you got, you got all this information, and you want to tell somebody, nobody listening, you know what I'm saying, so. Four spring sadness on the most part. And five is trying to heal from the first four stages. If you can heal from your first four stages, you'll be alright in the process. So that's the whole game. You know what I'm saying? So bam. Yeah. So with that being said, you just gotta understand that people got a choice to uh accept intelligence or not. You know what I'm saying? It's up to them. You know what I'm saying? But still, never hesitate to drop that seed on them. Like, like the Oracle. You know, do what y'all saw just hear this knowledge. Like you did for me. Yeah, at the same time. But uh, this episode one, man, we'll come back. You know what I'm saying? We're Charlie. Appreciate y'all. Much love. Peace, peace, family. We out.